Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello! And today we are watching Jaws. What do you know about this? Okay, so first, we should be ashamed that we've never seen this. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> like you know enough about it that you feel like you have seen it, but neither of us have actually sat down and watched Jaws from start to finish. Right. So obviously, we know probably a decent amount about it. It's a giant killer shark. Yeah, that's the biggest detail. It's a shark killing people. Yes. We've also been to Universal a number of times. So we've seen, that's not the shark, but we've seen, we've been attacked by Jaws. <laughs> yep. In the tour. I think it takes place maybe on the East Coast. I know it's directed by Steven Spielberg. I know the shark's nickname is actually Bruce, I believe, which is nicknamed after Steven Spielberg's lawyer. That's a little fun fact I know. I could be wrong or right. Who knows? Oh, okay. <laughs> the only thing that I really know for sure is at some point in the movie, someone's going to say, we need a bigger boat. Okay. That's what I got. Yeah, I didn't know those fun facts. Obviously, it's going to be attacking people yeah. in the water. <laughs> I mean, I'm super excited to see it because I have a pretty big fear of open water in general. I, I don't know how much of this takes place in like deep water or if this is more along the coast, like the shore. I have vivid memories of being in very deep water out in the middle of the ocean. And like, I remember swimming and I remember looking around in the water and I just couldn't see and it was just an abyss. And in that split second, I panicked like crazy because I felt like there literally could be anything anywhere and I'm not capable to handle this situation. So I've never gotten out of the water faster. I think this movie is going to frighten me a lot. Yeah. But I do not go in the ocean. I don't like it. I am very afraid of the ocean and I just won't go in. But you're more like a wave. It's and more like the rip waves. Tide. Yeah. So it's more at the shoreline than like deep ocean. And I'm deep ocean. So together we're terrible. <laughs> yeah. Together, no ocean. And of course, obviously the theme song. Oh, right. Yeah. So we would know the Jaws. Thing. Da -da. Yes. So I think that's everything we know. So it's a good amount, but since we haven't actually seen it. Yeah, it's time and it's still going to be very fresh. Yeah. Even if we know a handful of things. Yeah. So I'm really excited to watch this. Yeah, me too. This movie also won our horror Patreon poll. So we want to thank all of our patrons for voting on this. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Seems like a good old high school or college party on the beach. Bonfire. Yeah. Where are we going? Swimming! No. Come on in the water! She looks far. Yeah, she got out there fat. Oh no. Shots. No. She's alone. She's naked. The only person that knows she's there is a drunk guy. Oh, oh this is violent. Oh no, he's just passed out on the beach. That's gotta be like top 10 worst ways to go. Right? Shark attack. I got cut. I got hit by a vampire. Oh my god. Yes. He's excited for that? I think you're gonna live, but first. Yeah, they usually do. Watch out for sure photos. What? Does he have two phones? Yeah, that's what I was like. What happened? Be careful, will you? In this town? Hey. Chief of police. I get it. Okay. I wonder if that chick got eaten entirely or if like a, some pieces of her are gonna wash up. That's what I was thinking. Like, Nobody saw her go into the water. Did they eat? Somebody could have. Uh, All of it? I was sort of pat. Come on. Uh oh. Maybe she is washing up. Oh, he he looks sick. How much of her washed up? I didn't think about the crabs like going after yeah. the Ooh. dead body. Hey, Chief. Where do we keep the beach clothes Chief. signs? Chief. We never oh, had any. Find no. You, Chief. It's quiet town with no problems whatsoever. Yeah, it sounds like they're on an island. Yeah. Oh, it's 4th of July. There'll be a lot of people in the water. Yeah. Is he gonna have to make Not signs? A <laughs> I can't get service from the There's a bunch of Boy Scouts out in April Bay doing their mile swim for their merit badges. Oh, no. Okay, Albert. Come on, you oh, my God. Is this the mayor? Yeah. Probably gonna be mad that the beaches are closed. Yeah. Martin, you, you gonna shut down the beaches on your own authority? 
Amity is a summer town. We need summer dollars. Just show him the body. Possibly, uh, yes, a boating That's accident. That's not what you're talking about. Oh my god. Farm. I was wrong. Wow. You yell shark. We've got a panic on our hands on the 4th of July. I hope this As guy. You should. Yeah, I hope this guy gets eaten. Did they make it to the Boy Scouts? They're not worrying about it, I guess. Let me get my raft and go back out in the water. Just 10 more minutes. Thanks. Last 10 minutes of your life, kid. No, oh, not the dog. Oh my god, there's so many potential victims out here right now. The dog, the couple, the kid, the lady. I feel like the dog will sense it, no? I don't Dogs know. Dogs are smart. No, that, that's a head. Oh my god. But he, like, every few seconds someone stops his view. Can't get down to the office and that garbage truck next to the office. He's got to be my heart can't take this already. I didn't hear a thing uh, that yeah, guy I said. I have no idea what he said. Not your own kids. It's a lot of kids. Chief Brody, you are uptight. <laughs> uh oh. The dog's gone? Oh, fuck. Why couldn't it go after the lady? <laughs> it's the boy on the floaty. Oh, no. It really went after the boy. Oh, what a shot. So much blood. They didn't get the boy. No, he, I think he was long gone. Oh my God, out of all of the potential people, I did not think it would actually be the boy. Oh. Bury it? Well, I think they want to bury the ad. For the $3,000 yeah. reward, yeah. But they're still not closing the beaches. I really want to see this mayor go into the water. Must have taken that dog whole. There was no blood for the dog. No blood, no noise, just swallowed him whole. I don't think me because I have a motel. How do you feel about it? I hope they... Ugh, this whole movie is like freaking me out. <laughs> We're going to try and use uh, shark spotters on the beach. Are you going to close the beaches? You should. Yes, we are. Only 24 hours. I didn't agree to that. They're only going to close the beach 24 hours? What the oh fuck? Oh my god. That was the worst. <laughs> Why? I'll catch this bird for you, but it ain't gonna be easy. Who drew that? <laughs> yeah, well, did he draw that while he was back there? Find him for three and kill him for ten. And you gotta make up your minds. Ten thousand dollars. Pay it. Ladies and gentlemen. You sure made an entrance. Oh, why? I mean, it worked. <laughs> yeah, it got our attention. Time to learn about sharks. Jeez. People don't even know how old sharks are. They don't know. Enough. Enough. Come on. <laughs> Just get hammered. Wanna get drunk and fool around? <laughs> Dang, what an offer. Hey, Mikey really loves his present. Is he in the water? Get out of that boat! Get out of that boat. He's not on the ocean, he is in a boat. He's not gonna go in the water. I don't trust that tiny little boat. It's the rules, you know, before he goes out on his own. Michael! <laughs> did you hear your father out of the water now? <laughs> that was perfect. The this guy's trying to get the 3,000. I guess. Don't know what they're going to do in that. This dock is toast. Shark's teeth are, like, terrifying. Yeah. At this point, anyone in the water, I just immediately assume you're dead. Oh, oh. it's turning around. Charlie, you're gonna need to go a little bit faster. Charlie. Oh my God. Charlie, you gave me a fucking heart attack. <laughs> There's so no, many people. There's so many people are gonna die. Dynamite! The officer asked me to tell you that you're overloading that boat. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they're all gonna die. <laughs> yeah, get, them, get those roadblock signs. Oh my god, this guy sucks. Who are you? 
Matt Hooper. I'm from the uh, Oceanographic Institute. Uh, see the remains of the first victim, the girl on the beach. No. Why? More dogs. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Uh, uh, here's where we have the probable boating accident. That's her That's remains. That's what's left? That's a lot less than I thought. This was no boat accident. Did you notify the Coast Guard about this? We're intact. Do not smoke in here. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like him. It was a shark. Oh. That's not it. That's way too tiny. There's arrows? I just noticed there's arrows in it? He thinks it's it. Ben Gardner, get this. <laughs> he knows. What kind of a shark is it? Tiger shark. All right, what I am saying is that it may not be a shark. So it's not definitive, but there's no way it is. And the chances that these bozos got the exact oh, shark. Oh, there's no other sharks like this in these waters. It's a... Whatever it's eaten in the last 24 hours is bound to still be in there, and then we'll be sure. Smart. This is not the time or the place. And see that little Kettner boy spill out all over the dock. I mean, that, that does that makes sense now, especially that his parents are here. Yeah, but uh, you should probably take it into some warehouse and cut it open. Oh. You knew there was a shark out there. You knew all those things. Good for her. I mean, I understand where she's coming from, but she's slapping the wrong person. Well, she is slapping the wrong person, but he also put up almost no fight. Yeah. Once they were like, oh, it's a propeller. Poor thing. Yeah. Maybe this will spark him to actually do an autopsy on this shark. I'm sorry, Martin. She's wrong. No, she's not. Yeah, she's right. He should have got it, though. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I want the mayor to die. <laughs> I mean, I didn't realize that it was that bad, the body. Like, there's no way that you could have ever said that that was a boat. Yeah, there was like 10% of her left. <laughs> the kid's just mimicking him. Was open. Mind if I come in? Uh, Matt Hooper. Door was open. <laughs> oh, nice. Multiple bottles of wine. Red or white? Yeah. What a guest. Is anyone eating this? <laughs> this guy's the best. Making himself at home. <laughs> they caught a shark, not the shark. But you, you know, you want to let that breathe for nothing. nothing. <laughs> oh, not even using a wine glass. He needs a drink. Is it true that most people get attacked by sharks? In three feet of water. Yeah. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Then why don't we have one more drink and go down and cut that shark open? Good. Things got a stink. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tiger shark's like a garbage can. It'll leave anything. <laughs> that's it. Now you're man. We close the beach, call the mayor. You still got a hell of a fish out there. We gotta find him right now. He's a knife feeder. On the water? We're not gonna find him on the land. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not drunk enough to go out the boat. Drunk enough. I hope this is a big boat. Yeah, right? I pay for this mostly myself, actually. Dang. You rich? Well, personally, or the whole family? What is that thing doing? Probably just a school of mackerel or something all flung together. Oh, no. There's something else out there. Mmm. This seems like a really nice boat. Yeah. I, I feel like you can handle it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm nervous. <laughs> that boat? Ben Gardner's boat. That's Ben Gardner's you know boat. Him? It's all banged up. Sure, I know him. He's a fisherman. It's totally destroyed the boat. Look, Martin, I've got to go down there and check their hull. Going How are you getting the... over there? Yeah, is he going in the water? Ooh. Yeah, it's a bite. Nah. No, dude. You were the sensible one. I'll be back in two minutes. Doesn't even have any of that, like, chain stuff. <laughs> chain mail or whatever? Yeah. Ooh, that's a big hole. Ooh. Oh. The music. Yeah, I don't like this music. Get out of the water. Get out. <laughs> no! oh! Shit. Oh, he dropped everything. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to continue to feed here as long as there is food in the water. And there's no limit to what he's going to do. Where, where is that tooth? Oh my god. We depend on the summer people here for our very Please lives. go in the water. Please. Somebody draw. Oh, shit. Help, shark. Those beaches will be open for this weekend. <gasps> oh. That's a lot of food. I just so badly want the mayor in this water. He won't get in the water because he believes it. You're right. 
Man, the TV station's here. What a perfect opportunity for someone else to die. Nobody in the water. He's gonna try to get someone to go in the water. Yeah. Please, don't do it. No, you're taking your whole family? They look terrified. They should be three feet of water, right? Yeah, 10 feet from shore. Do me a favor, will you? Why? You and the other guys take the boat and put it in the pond instead. They listened, at least. Yeah. This is gonna be so chaotic. Yeah. Oh! Oh, that's a fin, right? Yeah. You two are way too far out. <laughs> Bye. Nobody's gonna yell shark. No whistles, no whistles. Why no whistles? Oh, people are getting trampled. Maybe the whistles was just so that people don't freak the hell out. <gasps> no. Are you kidding me? Uh oh. Shark! Oh, what? Why are you not freaking out more? Probably think it's another hoax. Oh, not his son. Fellas, <gasps> all in the sheet. Holy shit. Oh. Oh. No. Oh my. Oh. Ew. Is it leaving? It's fine. He's dead. No, he's not. <laughs> he's in shock. Thank God that random guy just came up to talk to the kids and took one for the team. Doctor said he's okay. Mild shock. He can go home in the morning. Thank you. Oh, man. Punch him. Yeah, he's gonna lose it. I'm truly sorry. I'm uh, gonna hire Quint to kill the shark. My kids were on that beach too. So? Who gives a fuck about your kids? I think he's in shock, too. You get dinner when you get back. Oh. He sure does hunt a lot of sharks. At least he actually looks like he knows what he's doing. Right. That's why he can charge 10000 oh, yeah, so Jeez. Nice Just roping a rifle for those guys and all this equipment for them. Portable shark or a monkey cage. You go inside the cage, sharks in the water. Our shark. I'm not looking forward to them using that cage. Kind of with him, though. I don't think that cage is going to do anything with this shark. No. Man, I like how they have the shot going through the shark's mouth. Who's driving this boat? Nobody. Tied. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting seasick. Right? It's going up and down, up and down. What? Oh. Damn it! You screw around with these tanks and they're gonna blow up. Next time you just ask me which line to pull, right? Aw. That was nice. Got your attention. Oh, uh, just like this slow little pool. You gonna say something? Oh, strapping in. Oh, oh my god, you are so strapped into this. Oh. It's like his whole chair's gonna go. He's getting so prepped for this. Get behind me. I don't know, Chief. I don't know. He's very smart, very dumb. Oh, probably very smart. He's got under the boat. I think he's got under the boat. Oh, he's right underneath you? Where are you going? What are you doing? Game no! Oh, what the fuck just happened? Did it snap? You wealthy college boys don't have the education enough to admit when you're wrong. <laughs> Damn. Hey, your head's bleeding. First aid there. Oh man, you don't want any blood in this water. Say something. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Oh, <laughs> that's the line. That Shut is up, massive. Man. Oh my God. It's like the size of their boat. You're gonna need a bigger boat, right? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't stress me out like that. Please go to the end of the boat. <laughs> what for? I need to have something in the foreground to give it some scale. A picture. Last time they wanted proof. That's true. Ooh. Just got the chills and I just got really sick. Tie it up, will you? Your turn, Quinn. 
Dude, what are you doing? Hurry it up now, tie it on. Come on, Hooper, come on, hurry up, tie it on! Hooper, please get this fucking thing tied. Shoot! Let's see how long that battle takes to bring him up. Oh my god. This is so, like, adventurous music. I know, the music changed, so I feel good. But I feel like I shouldn't feel good. <laughs> no. It just took that barrel like it was nothing. Now he's probably pretty pissed, too. I don't like him out there. Right? It's also getting dark. Yeah. I don't know how much longer they can stay out here. I want to see something permanent. <laughs> A moray eel fit right through my wetsuit. Comparing scars. <laughs> it's a bull shark. I got something for you. <laughs> How many scars That's do they the have? Treasure. You see that? You want a drink? <laughs> They're bonding. <laughs> They're best buddies now. What's that one? The tattoo. I got that removed. Don't tell me. Mother. <laughs> Seems like a sensitive tattoo. 1,100 men went into the water. No distress signal had been sent. Oh my god. You know the thing about a shark, he's got lifeless eyes. Doesn't seem to be living until he bites you. That's terrifying. Rip you to pieces. That's like a major turn. Lost a hundred men? hundred men. I bumped into a friend of mine. I thought he was asleep. He'd been bitten in half below the waist. Jeez. 360 men come out and the sharks took the rest. No wonder he hates sharks. Yeah. Can't believe he's gone back in the water. Man, what a story that was. I honestly want to say I feel like I've heard that before. Like, it's a true thing. It probably is. I've never heard that, though. Oh, no. It's back. What was the point of putting that tracker on? Yeah, they're not paying attention to the tracker. Oh, oh they're already yeah. taking out a good amount of water. <gasps> Oh my Dave. god, water and fire. fire. Oh. Don't waste your time, Quinn. Come on. Oh. Please stay on this boat. Do they not need to address the water? That's what I was thinking. Aren't they sinking? Hey, okay. All left, ready. Once again, now. Oh, he's back for more. Did he get rid of it? Ugh. Please, just grab it. I don't want you on the edge. Okay. Jeez. Oh, cut your hands, fuck. God, just staring at him. Got him again. Every time they get like a barrel on him, it's like adventurous music. This boat is a trooper. Yeah, right? It's in pieces already. Yeah. Just try to get as many barrels into it as you can. How long is the rope? I don't know. They got two in them. Oh. Did some damage. He's probably just pissing it off though. Two barrels and he's going down again. Man, it took two barrels down. Well, why don't we start leading the shark into shore instead of him leading us out to sea? Sounds reasonable. <laughs> I don't like when they're like leaning over. Right? And take the back of that boat off if he's still attached to these. <sighs> Fuck. Out of my way. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, Crushed his face and his glasses. They just cut it? Can they just cut it? Come on. There we go. Uh-oh. This is way too stressful. You got three barrels in it. Stay down with three barrels on it. Oh no, the music. Uh... Honestly, he's making these barrels look so weak. He's right under the boat. He could be anywhere right now. Okay, there's land. Right, yeah, we can see land. But this is a fast shark. And they still look pretty far. Have you ever had a great white dude? No. Oh my god. You are maxing this thing out. That doesn't seem fixable. I don't know how this boat hasn't sunk to the bottom of the ocean yet. Hopefully someone can see him from the land at this point. 
this music. I know, like, right? It's, it's giving me hope, but also terrifying me at the same time. They're definitely sinking. But if I can get them close enough to this cage, I'll... Shark, put that cage to... You got any better suggestions? Oh, my God, no. I mean, at this point, this cage might be safer than the boat. I feel like it's gonna tear right through that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Great, now you can't see. <laughs> oh, no. I've been fidgeting with, like, a cable this entire movie just out of stress. Straight for him. I didn't like how easily it just disappeared. I don't like his arms yeah. outside. <sighs> Please don't drop that. Please don't drop that. Oh, are you kidding me? You already dropped it. Just get the hell out of the cage at this point. <gasps> Do not. Don't. What is this plan of yours? Oh, it's so big. Oh my God, this cage stood no chance. That is entirely open. Come on, wait for it. Oh, that's not gonna last. Holy crap. They're gonna think he's just dead. What the fuck? Oh, there goes the boat. No! Come on, kick yourself up. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. That was extra violent. And of course him, with the history of the sharks. Those fucking eyes. Oh, yes. Like, what do you... I don't know what you do. I don't know what you do in here. He's got a gun and a harpoon. Where's the other guy? I don't know. He's still, like, down there in the water. Oh, it's still in his mouth. Oh, he's really close. Oh. He's gonna have to shoot that thing. Yeah, he needs to shoot that tank. Oh, you have, like, no time left. Why are you son of a... <laughs> Just chunks of... Oh, my God. <laughs> How many more sharks is this gonna attract, though? That's a lot of blood. There shouldn't be any. There he comes. He just hit at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> He's like, holy shit, you're alive? Quint. No. Poor guy. That was awful. That was so terrible. That was probably his biggest fear, too. I used to hate the water. <laughs> oh, that's the end. They're pretty close. I'm assuming they'll make it back. <laughs> do we fast forward to see if they make it to start walking on the beach? <laughs> they, do, they do get to shore. That's great. How is that PG? <laughs> that was only PG? This is that, this is that, that time, 80s PG. Yeah, this is that time frame where there was no PG-13. May not be suitable for children. Maybe like this whole movie. <laughs> All right. That was Jaws. What'd you think? I mean, that was so good. Yeah. But that was so terrifying. That was so terrifying. I think there's been a few movies where like you'll kind of like tap your leg throughout the movie or something. This is, I think, the first movie where I was just fidgeting with the cable of my headphones. And I didn't realize it until almost the very end of the movie that I was just, I had to like do something to try to not be so on edge. Yeah, no, my leg was shaking the entire, probably second half, maybe, of the movie. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was so good, though. I totally understand why this is a classic. I absolutely will not be going back in the water. Not that I needed any more reasons to hate the ocean. It's gonna take me years to forget this movie and then be okay. And then I don't even think I will. I think I'm going to, like, I don't know. The second something slightly touches my leg, the next time I'm in the ocean, I'm peeing my pants and I'm getting out of the water as quickly as I can. Well, and the fact that they were like, oh, in like three feet of water. 10 feet from shore. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah. you're, you're not safe anywhere. Yeah, maybe you'll get me to my ankles, maybe. <laughs> maybe. And the thing is, is like, well, I'm afraid of open water, not necessarily because of sharks, but just 
the abyss and unknown, but I actually really like sharks. Like I genuinely love shark week. Like I love sharks. They're super amazing animals, but this terrified me. Yeah, no, they're too smart. They're too dangerous. They've been around for fucking ever. They've been around yeah. for millions and millions. They're essentially dinosaurs. Yeah, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> this movie was spectacular from start to finish. It had great characters. Yes. The action, I mean, geez, Louise, the last like 45 minutes of this movie was nonstop. Yes. I mean, it was terrifying at moments. It was funny. It was clever. It was just everything. Yeah. No, it literally had everything. And I think now that we finished watching it, I do also remember seeing something talked about how that they had a lot of like notorious issues with Bruce, like the puppet shark, whatever, to get it to work. So I think it forced Steven Spielberg to shoot a lot of scenes without it. Mm. And I think that made it extra scary because a lot of this movie was just like the camera Waiting. moving through the water, like going up to people's legs, swimming and stuff. Like it was perfect. It essentially was a point of view of the shark as opposed to seeing the shark. Yes. Yeah. I mean, even if that was not intentional for as much of the movie it, as it was, it's always horror movies are so much scarier when you can't see it. Right. Like, especially I feel like the use of music in this film. Spectacular. Is what did it. You have the music building mm -hmm. and it's just water like you know it's going to happen yeah it was so stressful <laughs> super stressful i mean there's a reason why we've never seen this movie but we know the music yeah because it's just that effective and watching this it's just like oh my god like i really like i couldn't stop fidgeting my heart was racing the entire time even just like normal scenes of just them on the boat i'm constantly looking at the water like trying to see something anything yeah no it was extremely stressful and also had the jump scares yeah the main jump scare that got us was when hooper went down to look at the first boat and he like found the tooth yeah and, and the dead the dead body like the dead face came that was terrifying yeah i wasn't anticipating a body being in the boat still yeah and that was that terrified me and it was a gross looking body like yeah. it was all like destroyed from the and water like an and there was like yeah, yeah there was like like whatever sea creatures already on or something yeah so yeah no it had some major horror elements and then it was graphic from the very beginning the first person who got killed the woman in the beginning like you didn't see anything i don't know if there was a lot of blood in that scene or anything but it was just like her thrashing back and forth back and forth and i was like man i don't even know how they really did that like because she was violently going back and forth in the water like, oh they absolutely were thrashing her around oh yeah no i know i'm just yeah. like what kind of like machine do you yeah. need underneath the water to even make that happen like what was she standing on or something like that yeah because it was violent yeah and that, i mean that's terrifying like kudos to that actress anyways even if you're not being actively eaten by a shark <laughs> like being thrashed around like that and like part of the way in the water like that's so scary that was scary i mean it, the tension that was built throughout this movie when we're in the next kind of kill scene where it literally gives us like it could be this person it could be this person mm -hmm. it could be this and it's like is it gonna be the lady who's is it the old man the kid the dog you're just waiting for something terrible to happen and then it like tricks you. You don't even see the terrible thing. It's just the guy's like, hey, where's my dog? Yeah. And you're like, oh fuck, it already happened. Yeah. What we were waiting for already happened. And so, then bam, hit and, you again. And then bam, it hit you, yeah, again. Yeah. And it got the kid, which is like, when you think of like a movie, especially a PG movie, I don't know. I mean, I know this is a different scaling for PG movies, but I just wouldn't expect to be like, see like a 10 year old boy get like ripped in half practically. Yeah, no, that was incredibly violent. All the deaths were incredibly violent. Yeah. All the way to the most impactful one for me, which was Quint. Yeah, that was really sad. That trio, like, they were doing so well on that ship. Yeah. And he was clearly just suffering. And he comes in with a super impactful story. Yeah. Like, that was heartbreaking just to even hear about that. I had never heard of that. I had, I think I had heard of that. I didn't know the severity of it. I, I forgot where I heard that. Uh, but yeah, we looked it up. So that is a true event. The deadliest shark attack in history, I believe. Yeah, which is insane. Like, I just, 
can you even imagine? Just thousands of sharks in a feeding frenzy. Yeah, and this is literally straight out of a horror film, but it really happened. Yeah. Yeah, I know that was, I mean, it, it just put so many more things in perspective for the character of Quint. Mm -hmm. um, clearly he really wants to kill sharks. Mm -hmm. Just the way that he died, it was fast too. He just slid straight into its mouth and it was... I mean, he was fighting. He was fighting before the shark got him. He was fighting as hard as he could. Yeah. Trying to kick himself back up. And then even when he was getting bit, he was fighting. But it was just like, we were just watching helpless. I mean, we're just an audience, but also we see Brody is just, he's trying to stop himself from falling down too. He can't do anything other than just sit there and watch this guy who survived the worst shark attack in history getting eaten by literally a, a mega shark that was the most difficult scene i would say to watch but the entirety of this film i have to say the cast was incredible oh yeah like every single person in this down to like the mom of the oh, little boy the mom the boys even like the terror on the boy's face yeah. when they were in the pond yeah i loved the wife yeah she was great and their relationship but the three men you know Quint, Brody, and Hooper on that boat, all of it was incredible. It's almost like that you could have the movie start with them going on that boat and it would be like a complete movie. Yeah. Because they started off like kind of against each other and then they have, you know, their characters change and Hooper and Quint, you know, start sharing scars and stories and then they get along and then they have seemingly success and failures when they're like trying to uh kill the shark like really it was just like an encapsulated movie within the movie yeah but i did enjoy the beginning a lot oh yeah all of that backstory and stuff i mean it's spielberg like i mean really there wasn't like a second wasted no in this movie no it was so good i can't believe that it took us all this time to see this but we did it <laughs> <laughs> and we're never going in the water again yeah i might be afraid to take a shower. I don't know. <laughs> so, or just go into a swimming pool. Like, who knows? I don't know. Check that shit out first. Yeah. But yeah, no, I know. I really loved all of the characters. Fantastic acting. I really enjoyed Hooper specifically. Mm -hmm. Just his love for sharks. But then also he had this like edge on him because he clearly came from privilege. But, you know, even to the end, like he was the one who went into the cage. That was probably the deadliest thing any of them could have done. And he was fighting like hell in there too. Yeah. I really thought once he got to the bottom that he was gonna try to find that spear and like kind of get back into the action. Yeah. But that's okay. I mean, he survived something horrifically traumatic. If he wants to stay at the bottom of the ocean until he sees the shark blow up and he's like, cool, I can come up now. That's fine. He, he put in his his effort. Yeah, I don't I don't think he had another choice. At least until he knew that the shark was distracted enough. But even at that point, like, how do you so easily get back into the boat without <laughs> your cage? Right. No, I mean, there was there was no option for yeah, him. Yeah. But and then real quick, as I was adjusting my headphones, can we talk about the nails on the chalkboard? Yeah, you literally Quint? had to, like, rip your headphones yeah. off. Yeah. That's the first one that's ever happened to me during one of the reactions. But that was a sound. Oh, that was awful that was the sound for sure it was so long yeah i don't know how his like nails didn't break off Ugh. just so many memorable moments throughout this whole movie i mean we could spend probably like an hour or two talking about everything about this movie but yeah. i think it's very clear that we absolutely loved it loved it i mean all the way down to the final we had that conversation when Brody accidentally like knocked over those those uh, compressed air cans mm -hmm. and Hooper's like dude don't like it, these are very dangerous like be careful and then we see those cans pop up multiple times it, it did spend a lot of time just cutting to a shot of them or something like that and then for that to actually be the main weapon that was used right. was a fantastic callback to something that was set up, you know, 30, 40 minutes earlier in the movie. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, and that was really his only option. That was his last option. I yeah. mean, it that shark was relentless. It was coming to kill him no matter what. And that's what killed the shark because it just yeah. came head on, opened up its mouth. I think he, he the line he said was like, smile for me or something like that. <laughs> and he got it. He got that shot. I'm glad that rifle had enough ammunition 
for that. <laughs> you know, that could have been the last shot. I don't know. Yeah, he just kept shooting, and I was like, Ugh. I was like, please wait, man, please. Like, I don't want it to, like, open its mouth. You see the cannon, he pulls the trigger, nothing happens. And it's like, oh, no. Well, <laughs> yeah. <you're fine. laughs> but, uh, yeah, I know, that was crazy. I mean, just to see that shark explode in the end. Guts everywhere. So gross. Oh, Probably man. Quint as well. Yeah. Seriously, yeah, if it ate Quint, it, uh, everyone, well, I mean, they talked about how slow the digestive system is. It, yeah, I guess everyone that got killed everyone, during this film. Yeah, parts of everyone were in that shark that got blown up, too. Yeah. So, that was just a wild ride the entire time. Yeah, no, that was that was probably one of the more stressful films that we've seen. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But very happy that we watched it. Not excited to have to go to bed. <laughs> or or see water at any point in my life. Uh, but it ended with them swimming all the way to shore. Even in the credits, you see them slowly get to shore and then start walking on land. And it's like, whew. That's just a perfect way to end the movie. Just them finally getting back to land. Yeah, and I kept thinking, I was like, is nobody seeing this boat? Like... Clearly all just this, sinking. All of this action going on, like, right offshore. But when they got back to the shore, there really was, like, nothing there. No, yeah, that so. was a yeah barren place of the island or something. Yeah. But just thinking of that perfect ending, it just r real quick sparked another perfect moment in this movie for me when Brody was, like, telling his kids to get out of the boat. Oh, yeah. And the wife is like, they're fine, they're in the boat. And she looks at the, the book and it's a, literally a picture of a shark destroying a boat. And she's just like, listen to your father, get off that boat. Like that was just perfect. That was so good. That's and, gotta be one of the best lines. Right, listen to your father. That was great, yeah, no, I loved it. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those things will be in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.